Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I never did watch this. I watched the 20 tips, but not that one. Magic Dust. This was the destroyer of the first dueling tournament on the Classic WoW demo for BlizzCon. Do you remember whenever people kept using this on each other for, like, hours? Yeah, that was great. What a good game. Hey, guys. What's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. With Classic coming out, I thought it would be appropriate to do another video in my Tips and Tricks series, okay. this time exclusively for Classic. The game as a whole is much more unregulated compared to current, so there are a lot of nifty That's things a really good that you word can for do it. I like to make your life a, a bit easier. First up, we have mob separating. Inevitably, you'll be questing or grinding, and you'll be faced with a group of enemies that you might not be able to solo. Do you remember whenever I, uh, I, I soloed uh, Yowler? Do you guys remember that? It was like the third day of Classic Beta where I went in there and uh, I soloed Yowler. Yeah, I don't remember that either. Nope. I had to get two people to help me kill Yowler. He's a non-elite. And I still couldn't fucking do it. It's embarrassing. But luckily for Classic, you can separate any group of enemies. Okay. If you keep hitting just one, the others will eventually head back to their spot as long as you don't hit them. Over the years, they've added yep. hard limits to how far mobs can run or they'll just stick on you like there's no tomorrow. But in Classic, you can use this little trick to whittle down large groups of enemies. Or maybe pull a mob a all the way to Stormwind. There are that you can get at low level that are quite vital at level 60. Is this it? One of them is the Hydro Cane, Whoa, which gives you underwater breathing. Dude, I had this to You'll like 80, man. You'll notice that your breath timer is much shorter so in Classic good. compared to current. And with some quests requiring you to do some spelunking, it can get pretty tight. Yep. This staff is a lifesaver, and because it's a weapon, yep. you can simply switch to it when you're just about to run out of breath, and then switch back to your normal weapon, so it's not like you're sacrificing other stats, really. I need roll on this every time I do it. The is followed boss in Nomura Gun, which is a level 30-ish dungeon. The fastest way to farm him is to drop down right here yep. on this giant gear, and he'll be patrolling around this room. The staff itself has around a 30% drop rate, so it's not too bad. Weapon skills are a thing in Classic. I need rolled on that every single time. Uh, my group got mad because there was a mage in it one time and I need rolled on the staff over him. I said, what the fuck are you talking about? It doesn't even have any stats on it, but he still wanted it. I said, fuck you, it's mine now. And I need rolled on it. They, I think they kicked me out of the group or something. But uh, I, I actually had two of them at one point because I thought if one of them broke, it wouldn't give me the effect anymore. So I had two Hydro Canes. Each stealing weapon has no, a skill it's not attached stealing. to it that you need to level up. I just need to. Your enemies will just parry you over That's and all. over. It can be pretty time consuming, especially if you're a warrior or something. Oh, it's so dumb, so many dude. Weapon types it's so level. dumb. Well, tip one is that the intellect stat actually increases the speed at so which you level your dumb. weapons. A lot of people forget about that. Oh, here we go. But the real tip lies in the Badlands. In this zone, there are these servant mobs, and these are actually part of a quest. At low health, they become target dummies, basically, oh, yeah. and you're supposed to use a quest item to finish them off. Oh, yeah, and I it was actually all common back those. then for hunters to drag these mobs to Ironforge just to troll people. Yeah. However, you can use your immortality to level your weapon skills really efficiently. That's actually really just smart. Just get low and go AFK while auto attacking. What the and fuck? And come back to 300 weapon skill. That's a really good idea. Another essential item is the jungle remedy. On use, it cures diseases Holy and shit. neutralizes poisons. In the current game, there would be some text saying that this is ineffective on diseases and poisons past a certain level. But yep. again, with how unregulated Classic is, this is yep. still 100% potent even at level 60. It drops off Fuck the rogues, witch by doctors, the way. Fuck rogues. and head shrinkers located in the northern Stranglethorn Vale. You guys remember those dick-sucking medicine men? Do you get them down to 30% health, they cast that 1.5 second heal, they go all the way up to full health again? And let's say, let's say, here's the best part about it. There's two of them. So you get one down, you interrupt the cast, then the other one starts casting. So fucking ridiculous, man. It, it was the worst goddamn area in the game. At about a 30% drop rate, and they'll be extremely vital for PvP. Crippling poison, Viper the, Sting, Serpent boss. Sting into a Vanish if you're a rogue. And even in PvE, there's some really harsh diseases that this thing can cleanse. Okay. 
I remember on my paladin, if I was in Ironforge, people all the time would ask me to cleanse some random disease that they had, because they could last up to an hour back then. For any warlocks out there, you'll find That's that great. soul shards are of course present in classic. You get these by draining the soul of an enemy when they die, and they're needed for various spells such as your soul stone, your health stone, summon, and even damaging spells such as shadow burn and soul fire. They can be troublesome to farm. I remember whenever I, I realized that soul fire was like an eight second cast or some shit, and I spent like I finally I finally got a cast off on it, and it didn't even do that much damage. I was fucking furious. I was so fucking mad, man. Like, I, 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 I don't know, I just, I think all about these things. Yeah, six second? Well, oh, I was only six second, man. Think about a six second cast and wow. That's like an hour. So you only get them from appropriate level enemies, which at level Play 60 Fantasy, limits yeah. your options. One of the of best spots not. in the game, though, can be found at the Raven Hill Cemetery in Western Duskwood. If you use your Detect Invisibility spell, the you'll fuck? see a bunch of high level ghosts wandering about and what? make for a really quick soul shard farm. They're close to the Zulgarub raid, and also what? the Blackrock Mountain, which of course holds the Molten Core and Blackwing Lair, so it's what? a convenient location as well. And one last thing to say is that for any alliance out there, the fastest way to get there isn't what? through Darkshire, but rather just going east from the Sentinel Hill. And another item that I can be no really handy about is Dartal's Rod of Transformation, shit. which for the most part is a vanity item. Yeah, turns you I into still a have bulk this. For a few minutes I have this in my bank hit, right now. At which point the effect will dissipate, but it's really useful for mind games. I have like a ton of these As like old see, items in my bank. glowy hands whenever you cast it. So paladins and priests can often bait out interrupts by using this without fear of being locked out. Yep. Trust me, it does work. Not everyone has a cast bar add-on. Look, I'm telling you guys, the big vanilla brain. Okay. It is alliance only, and you can get it from a quest chain called Rain's Cleansing. Yep. That starts from the NPC, Rain Wolf Runner, located right here in the Ashen Bale Zone. Just make sure that you stop at the part where you, you get the, do the same thing with Hearthstones. Lose, of course. And here's another oldie, but a goodie. The Ghetto Hearth? If you finish a dungeon run oh, and yeah. you find yourself without your Hearthstone up, you can implement what you is known away, as right? a Ghetto Hearth Maneuver. Oh no, you if leave! You leave That's right! After 60 seconds, and it you'll be teleported you back to, to your Hearth location. And if you're the leader and you still want to do this, dude, I totally forgot else about that. Leaving, and it should still work. Holy shit! And for any fishers out there in classic, there exists two. Show the old items fish, you have. I can't after squid, this if people which want. Which can only be caught between the dates of September 23rd to March 19th. Nobody gives and a the shit about bass, this. And the summer which you can get Nobody from gives March a shit 20th about this. to September 22nd. This is only the for winter an achievement. squid is the more sought after one since it's used for the grilled squid yeah. consumable. Nobody which gives is the a best shit. Agility food. And the bass is used for spirit. Nobody which cares is still about handy, spirit. Spirit's mainly a useless for priests stat. who want to save some gold because there are some better Completely options for pointless. spirit food. So for gold making, if nothing else, make sure that you pay attention to when these are on and off season, yep. and you can make some extra gold by selling off season fish. Classic launches on uh, August 27th, so you'll have less than a month to catch mm, the summer bass. And once the 23rd of September rolls around, it'll be unavailable for six months, which may be an opportunity to score some easy gold. Okay. And next, we have another useful item, and that's the magic dust. This puts oh, an geez. enemy to sleep for up to 30 seconds, and any damage caused will awaken the target, and only one at a time. Once again, this is the most annoying item fucking item usable, in the game. Even on they came from the Defias guys. Basically, a free not CC the, for any uh, class. the little swirly boys. You get it from the Dust Devils patrolling so. around Westfall, so a bit easier to farm for Alliance players, and it's going to be a must for PvE and PvP. It drops at a 50% rate, which isn't bad at all. And lastly, we have a tip good, for man. any Alliance players out there. That's good. In the Hillsbrat Foothill Zone, the Horde have a quest to summon an undead necromancer named Helcular. Oh yeah, he it's killed me! It's a bit me. dangerous for them, as they have to go to the South Shore Graveyard. Yeah, I remember that. But in return, he'll terrorize the low-level quest hub for a short while. He sure will. He's a level 44 elite. I fucking and hate this idiot. What's about him is that he always drops a green item guaranteed. Really? As a result, he's really lucrative for gold farming. Holy especially shit. Especially during the launch of the game, as there will be plenty of horde going through the quest to summon him. So you can just camp his spawn if you want some easy gold. Wow, I, I, I had no but idea about that's that. That's about it. I do have more, but I think 10 per video is mm. a good point to stop. I'm sure some of you experts out there knew about some of this okay. stuff. But like with most of my guides, these are mainly aimed towards beginners, so what the hopefully fuck? it helps someone out there. Dude, these I'll are actually like really good tips. On the next part pretty soon. These are great tips. I hope that you found the video helpful. Like it if you liked it. Show your old items the in the one. bank. Peace. Okay, um...
Farewell uh, for now, mortals. We hope you enjoyed today's video. See you again soon. That was a good video. That was a great video. Mad Season always produces quality content. That's a very big true. I could go through and I could show you guys all my things, all right? Like the video, we're going to go ahead and give that one a like. Actually, let's go back over. Since Mad Season just put this other video out, let's go ahead and I'm going to link, link it to you guys. And if you want to, uh, go ahead and give the video a like. And that way it'll help his algorithm and help push this video out to as many people as possible since it just came out. And uh, that, that'll help with his like, YouTube algorithm and discoverability since it's like very early on in the upload process.